Atlas, Anomalies, Anemones, Anemones, Anemones. Game one, okay, they're going right into it. These people are tired. They are ready to go. Oh, Commander's ready to go. You would think because he hasn't played in bracket, he may need a bit of a warm up here, but no, he is straight into the game, ready to disrespect. Not afraid to give up the stage because he can just get right back in and continue his momentum. <laughs> He's gonna show him right now. He's telling you, you think Piranha Plant's good? I'll show you. Oh, look at that. All right, he's going to have... Ooh, he doesn't let him. We've seen him do this the whole bracket. We've seen him be able to throw out the projectile from off stage, But the moment he tries to do that against Trap City, he just gets punished by an F-tilt. That's definitely got to be a humbling experience for him. We'll see how he keeps managing this set. Maybe Anomaly can get something on the board here to continue to have his stage control and get in a comfortable position. But it looks like that's going to be a hard thing to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see you. He was at like 50. <laughs> One spike hit into that like side B and he's dead. That's all it took. Okay, super armor on the F smash. You see, that's how you beat him. You beat him with cheese. You need the cheese. <laughs> he's baking it, bro. He has the cheese sitting in the attic. He's letting it grow stale. He's letting the stank come out. All right, lets him get back on the ground. A couple of jabs to continue his momentum here. I love that B attack for him. Like, every time I see him power through with the armor, it just makes me pucker a little. Up smash ends up taking it, though. Dude, I was telling him, like, Piranha Plant doesn't give a damn about the Geneva Convention. He's just, he, just, he just throws poison gas. I think maybe it would be a little better if he actually utilized the poison gas in this matchup. Commander seems to, or Trap City rather, seems to just be relentless on the pushes. There isn't much keeping him out. Okay, that's not quite a trade. That would have been quite the sad way to end the game. We all know Piranha Plant and what they can do if he's able to get a grab here and able to get him up in the air, he may be able to even up the game, but it doesn't look like Trap City's gonna let him do that ledge jump. What year is this? I love Verona Plants animations. They're my favorite. Like the dash out and everything. Like, how does this work? Okay, Nair. I think this is over. I don't think he's going to let him get back. Nair again. Nair again, too. Nope. Back on a ledge trap situation. Tries to fair on stage. Barely misses. I'm surprised both of these players got out in case. Speaking of which, there's a the poison gas. Now he's able to throw the projectiles out. That's that stuff that killed Bowser, boy. You better be careful. Back throw. Okay, that's it. Oh, thank you. All right, so this anomaly, I need to put the, he is an L. Uh, uh, bracket, L, no, that's not a bracket. Bracket, L, bracket. Boom. Game two, back to PS2. I wanna see Yoshi's. Where's Yoshi's? <laughs> These matches would go like 10 times faster if these people go Yoshi's. Doesn't seem to matter though. Like 15 seconds in, we got 66% on Anomaly. I'm telling you, I don't know. It, maybe it's just the amount of Smash Brothers Trap City plays, but he seems to be so comfortable with this matchup. Like he's just juggling him back and forth, really like showing, like showing us the weaknesses of Piranha Plant, showing us where Piranha Plant falls short in the frame data and being able to break out of combos and like assert yourself back on stage in a quick manner. Everything that Piranha Plant does seems to take a good second uh, for your hitboxes to come out, for your projectiles to come out, for your walls to go up. And like, if you have a character like Wolf, like someone who's just insanely fast, it's not necessarily gonna go well for you all the time. You're gonna have to find other options like he is right now, spacing out his back airs, like juggling him, you know, really getting into it in the fisticuffs range. But even then, the lead that Commander has is insane. Nice back air. There we go. Anemone or an anemone, and then he get it in there with one stock. 
<laughs> he actually reflected it. That I was wondering that. Hits him again in this matchup. It seems like that sort of edge guard comes in a lot more like useful. We've seen him land that two times, and now it gave him the stock advantage. Not for long, though. 0-0 zero, zero on one stock. We love to see it. These players are neck to neck. Oh, oh, gang, gang. Munch, munch. How do you think wolf tastes? Like, not like actual wolf, like cooked wolf. Kind of like how you eat venison or duck. Like, what if you were to, like, cook a wolf? I'd have to ask Anomaly afterwards because he's been chomping at him the whole match. Clean back air. Sets him on fire. Now he has a stage. Is he going to throw out the spike again? Not quite. A little greedy with the F smash there. He's not going to let the bonk happen. Okay, Trap City respecting the projectile maybe a little bit too much. Might have been able to clean the stock a little there. Doesn't get the downer. Clean armor on the side B. Okay, Rose back on stage. We see more projectiles. Trap City not having any of it. Oh, this is intense. Like, who's going to get it? Look, he's at 136. He could get grabbed, I think, with all this rage. Up throw just might do it. Yeah, you better respect that clean near, clean tech, that downer, that's gonna take it. Turning it around, showing him, telling him to sit down. Wow. That, honestly, that was one of the last things I expected. I didn't, that, I didn't expect him to pull out one out of nowhere, but it just comes to show you can't, you can't be overextending. There's a reason Anomaly is seated first in this tournament it's because at any moment at any opportunity like with the experience this man has he's not gonna let something like that slide it's gonna send you to the depths even up the game with that one we're going back to pokemon stadium it's looking good ladies and gents one one on the board All right, clean, gets him back on a tech chase situation, and he gets him on the ledge. This time is really trying to style. He seems to have taken that last game personally. <laughs> okay, definitely seems to have taken it personally. The juggles just don't stop. Only 21% on the stock. This man already has a lead. He has not stopped. Bring it back on stage. Let's keep it going. I don't care who. Piranha Plant seems to be the one getting it on right now. Multiple jabs, it barely is able to leave the ledge, but as soon as he does, he has advantage again. Throws a smash attack, just three hits in. We're not looking for overextensions. We want that damage, boy. We want you off stage. We want this stock gone. Commander is just keeping it even here with a stock lead. Already uh, gets back in there with the back air. As, as I was saying, like Commander's good at exposing the weaknesses of Piranha Plant, like not letting him use out of shield options and just not letting him breathe. Like really, if Piranha Plant had more out of shield options, like he would be using it, but he just, they, the moves don't even come out before he, he's dead. Down air, nair, down air, is he gonna do it again? Dude, I want to see it again. <laughs> I like the tilts. It's rare that we see them work, but like anytime he pokes them with it, it's just some clean damage. Able to get him to a higher percent where maybe he can get a confirm off of this tech chase. Nope. Anomaly back on stage. Smacks him with the pipe. <laughs> that just sounds funny, but that's he's in a pipe. It's a piranha plant. Four tilt, not gonna quite do it. This boy thick. This boy thick. Nair tech doesn't even get the chance. Goes straight off stage. Anomalies and losers. He's gotta make a difference this next game. We cannot be out here getting three stocked if you wanna bring this game back. No DK? DK! Go DK! Ah. Uh. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not gonna go DK. He's gonna go back to Wolf. Let's see. Wow, this matchup has really just kind of been back and forth. Like we've seen what Piranha Plant can do. Like when you get the chance, like I don't know when you get your openings and you can get Wolf in disadvantage, you're able to edge guard him with the B move, like with the clamp, a lot easier, and you're able to kind of keep him there a lot better. But 
like the issue is that you need to set that situation up. You need to out like frame data your opponent. You need to beat him in the fisticuffs and be able to get him off stage. And that is the part where Anomaly seems to be struggling with Piranha Plant. I really, I do appreciate him staying loyal to the character though. Clean F toe, was that a two frame? Are you gonna do it again? Nope. He got lucky. All right, clean Nair. Drag down doesn't do much. He just gets up smash for his troubles. You gotta lab that one, boy. Okay, barely gets back on stage. That dash attack just barely missed. Clean jab three, jab three again. No up smash this time and no projectiles. He seems to be afraid of them getting reflected. Rather, he keeps his stage and the options covered with Piranha Plant's hitboxes, rather. There's the projectile, not quite dead yet. Is he gonna hit it again? Woo! Bonk. I love that up smash. Piranha Plant just expands. Okay, okay, did you see that? Falling up air, up till, and then the neutral B, or the projectile B, and like got him to 50%. This is even now. Oh! Gross! <laughs> you don't do that. We don't do that around here. You cannot disrespect his space like that as he just jumps in your face and sucker punches him, getting that stock out at 80%, and now he's got this lead that just makes it seem like a dire situation for Anomaly. Will he bring it back? Is he gonna do it again? Okay, fair, fair. He's out of a jump, he's out of a jump. Oh my gosh, I'm saying he's he got greedy on him. Oh, he got too greedy on him. All right, you know, as much as I'd like to see some like some style, I would also like to see him not throw the game for the sake of my sanity. So let's see how he handles himself on the ledge. Anomaly gives him the stage a little too easy here. Two frame with the F till always a nice thing to see. That takes some practice. All right, back Aaron to shine. Shuffs him out of there. Is he going to shine again? Nope. Tomahawk grabbing a back throw. Good DI from Anomaly. He's ready to get right back on stage. Throws a projectile on him. 20% on the board. 30% on the board. Doesn't work out. Oh, that doesn't kill. Look at that spike. And now he's dead. There we go. That's it. Trap City takes it. Kaboom. Game. Super Smash 4 singles. That is 3-1 Anomaly coming from Lucy.